Hey guys, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear. Uh, we're continuing to play Sola to Robo. Um, a bunch of stuff got blown up, and uh, we gotta we gotta make our way this way. Ooh, I got me some rings, baby. Battle start. Oh shit. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, I am so good at this. I can grab their projectiles and throw them back at him. Ow! Bro! Not cool. There we go. Let's just keep smacking you against the wall. And you're gone. Take that! Am I awesome or what? Uh, please refrain from bragging and move on. It's not over yet. I don't think I like your tone, brat. I was all upset in an earlier episode. I, uh... I wanted to zoom in on somebody's face and I didn't. <laughs> it just felt like... I almost felt like saying that again because of those goofy looking eyes. Ah, oh, the mystery boy's name is L, not Brat. Alright, fine, L. Just stop giving me orders. Jesus Christ. I've had enough orders and tutorials as it is. Why should I listen to anything you have to say anyways? This is neither the time nor the place for such a discussion. Ah, I hate it because L's right. It's a it's a it's a mysterious boy. I guess we're going up. Oh, I didn't get any rings for that. Okay. Save point. Let's save the game. Cool. I like how fast it saves. Oh, hey. There we go. I got some money. I like getting money. Uh, let's see. Oh, look how it's getting really powerful reading from something. Oh, shit. Right in front of me. This is the boss, baby. It's looking right at me. Oh, shit. Just like that, we jump straight in. Oh, he's gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Run away, run away. Alright, we gotta grab these little guys and chuck them back at him. They only take two shots. Oh, then we can pick him up. Oh, yeah! One more. Let's run away. Okay. One and two. Oh, I am just busting all kinds of ass. Bam! Go bye bye. God damn, I kick ass. A walk in the cart, baby. Uh, park, excuse me. I said cart for some reason. Oh, but the others are starting to run away, so that means it was the boss then. Yeah, did you see that, else? See how strong I am? Uh, gloating because the immediate enemy is gone. You are a child. Hey, did this child just saved your butt and kick some ass? All this preventable damage. If only you had left when I said to. Hey, it's not my fault the town got attacked, alright, chump? Actually, it is your fault. Bro, this is all your fault. Dude! Hey, what did I do? Those shades came here because they were after. Him. What, me? Why, why are they after me? The medallion that you activated, that's what they want. Wow, so that's why they attacked the Hindenburg. Mm, excuse me. The medallion chose him. There's no turning back now. 
Uh, excuse me, but your name is, uh, Red. Red Severin. That would be me. Well then, Red Severin, I have a request to make of you. A request to you. To a hunter. Will you take care of that medallion? Let me say this another way. Yeah, I'll, I can take care of it, no problem. Oh, shit. I want to make a contract with you. I'll pay you a great fortune. Will you honor my request? You have everything to gain. Ah, to be continued. Alright. A contract for a billion rings? One whole billion! <laughs> Will you stop laughing like that? It's freaking me out! One billion sure is a lot, though. But still, I could go for a billion rings. Ooh, like a billion onion rings. A great fortune worth more than one billion rings. Oh my god, there's the eyes again. Red, did he say one billion as in one whole billion? Y yeah, that's a lot of zeros. And what are the details of the contract? All I have to do is help the kid seal Larry Larry's away. L needs the medallion to do this. And me, because I activated it. And if I say no, well then eventually Larry's will destroy the world as we know it. Meet me at the cafe and spin on tomorrow. I have some business to tend in the area. What you put? Oh, okay, sure. Oh, all right. Something really big's happening here, but something bugs me. And we're going to spin on, right? Uh, yeah, I guess we are. All right. If we get into a jam or a jelly, I know you can get us out of it. That's how it's always been, right? Ugh. Yeah. Because I'm badass. Alright, to spin on! Uh, let's see. Next destination. De oh, Jesus Christ. I get it. Uh huh, okay. Uh, so let's see. We could run back to Airedale, we could go to the dual ship. There's a couple of quests back in Airedale. Um, let's just continue forwards to spin on. We'll come back later and we'll we'll take care of those extra quests. Ah, raid on the Kurvaz. Okay. City of Canal, spin on. Isn't that the Kiraz flagship, the Golden Roar? What's the Kiraz Admiral and Warship doing here? Don't tell me they're looking for us. What, to get even about, about what happened on the Hindenburg? We're not that important. I disagree, I think I'm exceedingly important. Those eyes! Oh, this time I gotta get a zoom in on those eyes. <laughs> it's too cute. Alright, what's going on? It's Bruno. Who's Bruno? The president who created the Kruvaz, the Guildmaster. Oh, shit. Where's Bruno? That old guy is Bruno, huh? Which means all this fuss is about his visit. Nothing to do with us, then. Let's head into the city. Bruno looks pretty cool. Fat Man! What's up, Fat Man? Well, below the shrine lies the totem of Spignon. Well, thank you for telling me. And the smart girl. I like seeing all the flying things that come and stop here. Alright, soldier. They're on watch. We won't go causing no trouble, not in front of Master Bruno. Have I seen you... Ah, oh, never mind, I'm on duty. I can't be messing around today. You know, you guys don't recognize me? Okay. 
Okay, I won't go causing any trouble. Let's head into town. What? Oh, it's one of the little kids. I got a fragment of one of the photos. I forgot about the little the little cats. They stole the photos. God, this place is beautiful. Look at the look at the water, man. The wind feels good, don't you agree? I do agree. It's still too early for our meeting with L, but maybe there's a quest broker here. May as well kill some time. And meanwhile, on Solitarobo. In the mayor's house of Spinon. Hmm. Hmm. And what, may I ask, brings the Kruvaz to my humble town? Evian? Very well, I'll get right to the point, says the blonde woman. We'd like you to lend us your crystal stone key. Ah, I see. Unfortunately, I've never heard of such an item. <laughs> Indeed, you have the ability to lie with a straight face. <laughs> That's enough, Mervell. We've only come to say hello today. Damn. Perhaps you'll suddenly remember what it is before we come back. If not, you'll put us all in a very difficult situation. <laughs> Fwa ha 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 ha. Ooh. Uh, uh, an anally? Anally? Anally. Is this that? A N E L I E? An anally? Amel? Amely? I'm not quite sure, but they're after Grandpa's key. <laughs> no, I'm fine, Grandpa. Now, why would the Kruvaz want the crystal stone key? And what will happen to the town if I don't hand it over? Hmm? That's odd. The key! It's gone! Who could have taken it? Uh, uh oh, A-M-E-L-I-E. I'm... A-A-M-E-L-I-E. Emily. I'm not good with French words. All right. Let's, uh... Hey, cool youth. Head down to the end of the street and you can look out over the entire town. That beautiful view is the pride of Spignon. I, I, I should do that, right? Let's take a look. Oh, uh, this is actually... This is a great looking town. It's favorite spot in the whole world. Oh, I can't get down there, can I? Alright, well... I can't get over there, that way it's locked off. This door is locked tight. A cheerful woman says, Welcome to Spignon, the town of flowing water! God, it really is. If I head out this way? What's over here? The Frank Youth. Ha! Huh. The pie in this cafe is the best. It looks like a Starbucks uh, sign. <laughs> What's over here? The Fat Woman. I love listening to the radio with the murmuring trickles of water from the canal. Oh, this place is just freaking beautiful, man. Oh, if I get off the boat, can I? I can ride this little thing. Oh man. Holy cow. To tell you the truth, guarding this water gate is a pretty easy job. I've got nothing to do. Nothing to do. So bored. Where was... I see the little sparklies. Should I... Oh, I got some pea crystals. Cool. And over here... A note. Okay. Well, I guess that was kind of worth it to come over here. Nice. This music is really relaxing. Let's check, uh... Let's, let's, let's check things out on the customize menu real quick, because I picked some stuff up, right? So, uh... 
I have four points. I need five points to unlock these lids. I get it. So I need to collect more P crystals in order to continue to upgrade. So we're not quite at the point of upgrading yet, I suppose. So we'll, we'll hold off from that. But in the meantime... Well look, it's Flo! Bonjour, Flo! Uh, friend's lost treasure. Please, help me find a lost item, please, says Frito. Oh, hold on. Five rings? I just noticed how low the reward is. Oh, but we've already taken on the job. Actually, I think I've made a mistake. Oh. It was posted by a boy. Oh, it's my style to back out of nothing. Client is waiting in the cafe behind here. His name is Frito. Cafe is the same place we're supposed to meet L. Oh, but show me! Where on the top screen is it? Is it back there at the cafe that I already went to? Okay. Very cool. Oh, hi, Frito. Oh, little Frito. He looks super sad. Hey, kid, are you Frito? Yeah, that's right. Are you a hunter? Yeah, call me Red. What have you lost? Y yeah, okay. A, a key. I it isn't mine, though. Oh, so whose key is it? A friend of mine uh, called a Anally. It was taken from her. Taken? By who? A, a scattermouse. They, they live in the sewers. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to go into the sewers, aren't I? Whoa! Well, hello there. You need to start by finding the way into the sewers, eh? All right, well... Oh, hey, Elle. Where have you been? Oh, she's figuring out... He... God, he... He looks like a chick. They're the ones who obtained the medallion and were transporting it in that ship. You mean the Hindenburg? That was a Krivaz ship. Uh, yeah, and they were planning something here, too. If possible, I would like your help. Have you made a decision about the contract I proposed? Yeah, the contract, sure, leave it to me. I'll save the world, I'm a badass. Uh, yeah, we can't move on the crevasse right away. I've gotta help this kid out. Uh, the crevasse are looking for a key, we have to find it first. And I have a key to find, too. A key? Kid, you said that this key belonged to Anally, right? Who is this Anally then? Uh, Anally's grandfather is very important. He's the mayor of Spinyon. Maybe we're all after the same thing. Hmm. Maybe. Let's look for this key. Uh, there's a possible entrance into the sewers in the port near Asmodeus. Let's go back to the port. All right. Good plan. Um, let's save the game. Perfect. We'll head back to the port in Asmodeus. Yeah, back this way. Hmm, what's going on? What's it like down there, Red? I think we can go inside, but it looks deep. You guys better stay here. Alright, we'll see you back at the cafe. Get that key back, Red. I sure will, kid. It's open. Chocolat, I'm counting on your navigation. Meanwhile, on Solitarobo. Ah, the old viaduct in Spinion. First of all, grab and throw and give me the things. And grab and throw and give me the things. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab this and throw it and give me the things. And grab and throw and give me the things. Cool, I got all the things. And I'm gonna head into the sewers of Spignon, but we'll do it in the next episode of A Rabbit's Tale. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and... 
I'll see you in the next episode. I gotta think of a a better uh, ending phrase <laughs> since I'm I'm starting to put these out uh, kind of all at once so that people can binge watch. Uh, so I don't know if you're gonna watch this next week or not. It's entirely up to you, but I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.